Hi, my name is Laura Schlittler, and this is the Deliverable 3 final video for the MAKE course at the University of South Florida. This is a control system block diagram. The clock motor is battery powered and controls the hour and minute hands. I wired the clock motor so each time a second ticks by, this interrupts the Arduino, which then in turn updates to digital clock and outputs it on the LCD display. The remote is used via the IR sensor to interact with the Arduino to execute all the user interfaces that are output on the LCD display. The Arduino triggers the ultrasonic proximity sensor, which then takes input from the environment and returns the information back to the Arduino. Then if the nearest object is less than 30 inches away, this will cause the buzzer to emit the 8-bit roar sound. Here's a 3D render of my clock. Each part that you see here was sent to the printer and printed in 3D using plastic, and then I used those parts in the assembly of my final project. Here's the completed product. Press power to turn it on. Press the mode button to cycle through the menu options. There's set timer, set clock, and set number of alerts. It also displays what the number is currently set at, and the default is 3. When you cycle to the menu option you would like, press enter to open that interface. As we can see from the analog clock, the current time is 934. If I were to make an error, I can press the previous button to go back and enter the value I want. Then you press enter to set the digital clock. And now, since the clock motor is wired to the Arduino, every time a second ticks by, this will update the digital clock so it will remain synchronized with the analog clock. To set the timer, we enter the timer interface. The previous button works here, too. And if I try to enter a value that is inappropriate for the current digit I'm on, for example an 8 for the first digit of minute, it won't go in, so there is error checking. You press enter to start the timer countdown. If I press the plus button, this will add 30 seconds. The minus button will subtract 30 seconds. To pause the countdown, press the pause button. When pause is activated, it is also possible to use the plus and minus buttons. Press play to continue the countdown of the timer. The EQ button will clear the timer and exit to the main display without having to go through the entire timer countdown. To set alerts, cycle to that menu item and press the enter button to open the alerts interface. We'll do two. Press Enter to now set the selected value to the number of alerts. Pressing the plus button from the main menu is a shortcut to start a 30 second timer. Finally, the mute button will toggle the proximity sensor on and off. And then press the mute button again to remute Rexy. And that's it. Thanks for watching.